at the UCI machine learning repository, I see that there's this um, database adult. I'm going to randomly pick this as one of the data set of my choice. Now this data set has around 48,000 rows, which is a decent number of rows. It has 14 attributes. It does have some missing values and so on. And then um, we can perform classification on this data set. There are various kinds of variables. One of them is is, work class, and so on. And what we are predicting in this data set is to determine whether or not a person makes over 50,000 a year. So if I click on the data folder, I see many files. The files that will be of interest to us is the dot data file and the dot names file. So I'm going to download these two files and open them in a text editor. I have both of these files open in text editor now. And the first file, the dot data file, doesn't look very clear to me. It seems that it has all the columns in it. For example, maybe this first column is the age and so on, but I really don't know. It doesn't even come with columns. So the dot names file, the other file, must have descriptions of all of these columns. So if I go here, if I keep scrolling, I see that at the end, um, we actually have the column names. The first column is the age, second column is work class. And also, um, I think it's slightly confusing that the last column where we have in the data, actually, if we go back and look at the last column where we had the less than 50K and so on, and more than 50K is not shown as the last row. So this actually should be, since all the columns are probably ordered, this one should be output. Obviously, we have to put names to these columns, go on top and then put these column names here. But then uh, these are all strings and um, neural network models cannot accept these strings as they are. So we have to do a bunch of cleaning. If you are good in Linux and if you can write scripts, shell scripts or commands to clean all of these and convert this, these to numbers, that'll be wonderful. But if you cannot, Microsoft Excel or even Google Sheets can be very handy to clean these data sets. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate how I can clean this data using Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to copy all of this data and open Microsoft Excel and paste this into a new spreadsheet. And then since all of this data got pasted into a single column, obviously I have to split the data. So I go to data, text to columns, and then of course we have comma as the delimiter. So I'm going to set a comma as the delimiter and then finish. I have my data I split it into various columns. I actually see that the last column is all more than 50 or less than 50. So it looks like this worked. Now we need to add headers to this data. So I'm going to create an empty line here and I'm going to go back to my dot names files and copy the contents from it. Here's my dot names file. I'm going to copy all the column information and paste it in Excel. So I can paste it temporarily here. And here I know that the column names are separated by this column. So I'm going to use the column separator to obtain column names. We want to use column as our separator and this will give us all our columns. So if I do this, I see that all the other text has appeared over here, which I don't really need. I can always go back and refer to the data set description to obtain them. But then here's my column. So I'm going to copy this and then paste a transpose of it. Paste spatial and then select transpose. And here we go. So I don't need this anymore. I can delete it. So here we go. So we have our data and I can double click on these columns to align them. So now that we have this data ready in Excel, what we need to do is convert all of these into numbers. So say, for example, um, the variable is, can it stay the same? But then other things like, for example, this variable sex has values, male, female, it could have other values as well. So I can simply do find and replace. Find, let's say all the males become zeros and we put ones in the place of females. So we all replace all males with zeros. So 21,000 replacements done. 
and then all females and then all females with one so 10700 rows replaced so if, if there is any other things um, other than males and females we need to remove them as well one really good way to check that is I can copy this column temporarily paste it here and then do remove duplicates so if I do this I see that the unique values in this column are zero and one so that means I don't need to scroll down and search for other possible values. So the sex variable is done. Let me mark it as green. As we looked before, age variable is also already done. Let me look for, for example, these variables, capital gain, capital loss, hours per week, they already look okay to me. So this is good. Now the output variable must be all zeros and ones. So I'm going to select this output variable and replace all the less than or equals to 50K with a zero and everything else with a one. So once again, I can copy this column, temporarily paste it here, and then check if my output variable contains things other than zero and one. I go to data and then remove duplicates. I select the column and then click remove duplicates. This, give, this also gives me zero and one. So this means this column is also done. So the output column is also done, let me mark it green. So in this way, I can continue to clean all the variables one by one so that I have all numbers in my data. If I had variables like date in my data, so if date is one of the variables and say, for example, the values are something like these, then the best way to convert dates into data columns is to separate month, year, and day. So given this date, I can split the data into three columns, data, text to columns, and then I want to split them by the slash, finish. This becomes three variables. Unfortunately, the first column is still is formatted as date type. So I'm going to change this format to a regular string. So this, this date has now split it into three columns. So I'm going to say this is my day and this is my month and this is my year so this is how we can obtain three columns from date same thing applies to time variable as well if you have variables which contain descriptions for example longer descriptions and there are no unique values to them then those variables cannot be handled by feed forward neural network so we have to remove them but otherwise things like these can always be converted to numbers for example, even education can be converted to numbers. Things like cities and countries can also be converted to numbers. Now, something that can be sometimes a problem is that these special characters in your header names, in your column names can become a problem. So one easy way to get around that is to simply rename them so that the words are separated by capital letters. So capital gain could be capital G here. So in this way, we can rename all the columns so that it's easier um, to sometimes not run into problems. Now, sometimes you may actually be predicting a continuous variable. The data set may be something like is, is your output variable. So is becomes your last column. And um, say what you would like to do is convert this data set into a binary classification problem. So if that is what you would like to do, one easy trick to convert a regression problem into a classification problem is to simply replace all the values higher than a threshold to a one and everything below that threshold to a zero. So I could do here, if my age is say for example, more than 25, it becomes a one, otherwise a zero. So I can double click here to get this extended. So we can see that all the ages that are 25 or below are zero and all others are one. So this becomes my output variable now, and this becomes one of the inputs. What I need to do is I can remove this, which we don't need. And then I can copy this and paste values. So we have our output variable ready. Now I can remove these two input, these two variables. It is important that we, once we have converted the continuous variable as an output variable, we remove this because this is going to be very predictive of the output. So I remove this and then this becomes my classification problem. So once we have cleaned the data set, now it's time to save it. 
So I can do file and then save as, and we want to save it as a CSV file. 